We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. The Midsummer Classic between the American League All-Stars and the National League All-Stars. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All-Star Game here on MLB Network. I'll be joined in a moment by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, but first let's give you a look at this year's American and National League All-Stars as voted on by you, the fans. Final preparations being made on the field. We've got a fun night in store. It's the Major League Baseball All-Star Game on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Getting close to first pitch here. Let's listen in to public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2020 National League All Star. Briefly now, we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin this All-Star game. Don Sutton, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, man, this is one of the game's all-time best pitchers. Over 300 career wins, and he's been doing his thing for a long time. It'll be interesting to see if he can continue that solid work in this one today, Matt. All right, so here's how the National League All-Stars line up on D. And let's take a look at Kristen Yelich, former Gold Glove winner in 2014. Covers a ton of ground out there, and don't test the arm. So striding forward now, Ryan Braun. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The one two is a swing and a miss that strike three well I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him he wanted it but he didn't get the call but I love how he didn't let it affect him and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out Doby. in now Larry Doby lifted down the line and left and no one will get this one. Sutton, he's the kind of pitcher that a lot of pitching coaches and managers really appreciate and that he rarely issues the free pass. He's a strike thrower. Yeah, Matty V, and I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on his staff. He won't beat himself. He'll make you put the ball in play, and he's not afraid to get his defense allowed. He's a pitch-to-contact guy, and that's one of the keys why he's been able to be such a good pitcher at this level. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Larry Doby is the second out of the opening frame. Stepping in now, Jimmy Fox. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes in this one, Mr. James Kingsley. Dan, I know I was an offensive player, but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, Three. got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Mike Scott, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? 
Well, everyone knows he's one of the game's elite pitchers, so if you like good pitching, you're in for a real treat. Not many other guys compare, and the thing I enjoy the most about him is the confidence that he exudes when he's out there. Trust me, he doesn't lack it, and the opposing hitters, they feel it when they're standing in the box against him. All right, let's check out the American League All-Stars on defense. And one of the main pieces on this team today is the guy playing shortstop. A ton of range, the ability to go in the hole, set that back foot with a strong arm over the first base. And I know it's going to upset the second baseman and the third baseman, but at the end of the day, the shortstop is and always will be the captain of the infield. The 1 2. Misses, ball two. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now here's the pitch. Ah, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. At the plate now, Jackie Robinson. Good hard splitter, but it misses two and two. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Looking for back-to-back -back K's to start the game. He stays alive, still two and two. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the running play. Two down. Batting third. From the Arizona Diamondback, the left fielder. Stepping in, Luis Gonzalez. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. George Foster would be next. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. And inning in the books, scoreless on MLB Network. Now at the plate, Mickey Mantle. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Fouled away. The one two. Oh, that pitch is out. I can't lose, Paul. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Skied down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase. And he makes the catch in the corner. Batting fifth. From the Oakland Athletics. The designated hitter. In now, Jason Giambi. And he'll Giambi. get his first opportunity in this one. The one two. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. 
Wow, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, kick. guys. That's five well batters done. faced, Kansas four City strikeouts. Royals. That's going to be a tough Not pace to keep top. up, but it looks Love like it. he has what it takes to work deep Yo. into this game. Into the box, Robin Young. And I'm there's sorry, ball two good. now. No score here as we play inning number two. All even now, two and two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. American League goes down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Last half of the second set to go. And next to bat will be the outfielder, George Foster. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Up with it, Carter. And he makes the throw to first. Foster is retired, and there's one away. Batting fifth. So Drop stepping in, Walking Christian Yelich. The right fielder, Christian Yelich. Outside, two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Mantle is there as he had to travel a ways, but he makes the catch deep in the alley for the second out. Batting fifth. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the great Duke of Flatbush, Duke Snyder. Snyder. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he fouls this one off. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, Brand. You know with two outs and nobody on, that's the last thing you want to do on the mound. That really gives the opposition some hope that they can do something with this inning. Pujols. Stepping into the box, Albert Pujols. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Now the one and one pitch is strike two swinging. The one two. Four, that's inside. Two out with the man at first. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. One left for the National Leaguers. We'll move to the third with no score. Ladies Walter Johnson, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Number zero, Walter Johnson. And the Hall of Fame catcher Gary Carter hits next. Seven, eight, nine, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. The three one. 
Swing and a miss, and the count goes full three and two. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Popped up. Robinson is there for it. Makes the play one away. Batting eight. Standing in, Rock Alex guy. Bregman. Astros. The third baseman, Alex. Third inning, no score Bregman. to this point. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Here's a topper foul off to the right, and that'll even the count at two and two. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the Batting bullpen up. in these days, but Rob it doesn't make it any Astros. less impressive to me. I the love watching baseman. guys come in Red. and blow smoke right by guys. Dizio. To the plate now, Craig Biggio. Line to the right side. That's a base hit, their first of the game. You'll only see about 10 of these pitches a year. The changeup on a tee in the middle of the plate. But tip your hat to the batter right there. He did not come unglued, stayed within himself, and drove it for a base hit. So digging in now, Ryan Braun. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Biggio, the runner at first with two gone. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. A hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Now the 2 1. I got to count 2 and 2. Throw over to first, and he'll dive back in safely. He's going, he's going. And the 2 2 pitch. And it's fouled away. He's running again. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Pitch misses low. The throw down is not going to get him as he swipes second. Well, that stolen base was about as bang-bang as they come. And as show track demonstrates to us right here, it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. This is lifted out to left. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Cy Young, please. a six-foot-two-inch right-hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number zero, Cy Young. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Miguel Cabrera.
the 2 1 home. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2 and 2 now. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Braun will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Batting ninth. Coming Broca, to the plate now, Broca, Johnny Bench. Bench. The catcher, Johnny Bench. A ball and two strikes now. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. Two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. 2-2 two, two pitch is fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And another foul ball. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Now batter. Not your stop. Stepping up to the Ozzie. plate, Ozzie Smith looking to put the ball yeah. in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Again, another foul ball. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Mantle's on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. NL down in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Greg Maddox, a right-hander standing now, six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. Number 31, Greg Maddox. Into the box now, Larry Doby. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on. Oh, hold on. What a stop. The throw. It's there, and he's out. Oh, that's a tough play, but he pulled it off perfectly. Once he made the great stop, still had to make a good feed to the pitcher covering, which isn't easy on routine grounders sometimes. Hard not to appreciate that one. Late, Jimmy Fox first time up he went down looking yeah in today's game certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts but no one likes to go down looking expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this AB now a slider here but this will miss off the plate away and it's ball four and I'm sure the manager is just fine with that I mean it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up blocking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you now batting, Mickey Mantle. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make now a guy back. chase the out of the zone. Hitter. When you recognize Next a hitter is in protect mode, you Gee, don't have to come Aubrey. inside the strike zone. You could just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it.
Into the box now. Jason Giambi. Grounder down the line at third. Fielded cleanly. Robinson at second base and the inning comes to a close. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. And we are tied nothing nothing. Catfish Hunter will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Now pitching for the American League. Number 27. Catfish Hunter. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up Jackie Robinson. The 1-1. One -one is taken for ball two. Now the 2 1 pitch. Back up the middle. Scooped up. And the throw here is in time. Very nicely done there at short for the first out. Outstanding range on display that time. And here's the data from Show Track. I didn't think he was going to get to that one, but he did. And then to complete the play, he made a fantastic throw right on the money. That batter's got to feel like he got robbed on that ball. Digging in, Luis Gonzalez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base the umpire, so it's 15. ball four. They Designated haven't been able hitter. to register a hit against sure. this guy, but at least they have a oh, base runner sure. here. We'll see if that leads to something. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, George Foster. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-1. Base hit, and they're into the hit column. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. now hey, guys, I like the right execution field. by the batter there. Rick he got there. a hanger in the middle of the plate. Yeah, he could have right. come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. At the plate, Christian Yelich. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Fouled away. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2 one more time, and he fouls this one off. Here's the pitch on 2 and 2. Full count, 3 2. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. And it's fouled away. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. The 3-2 one more time. Fouled off. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. The next 3-2. Popped him up. Bregman is over now, and he's got it for route number two. The better next field. to bat is number the home four. run hitting legend Duke Snyder. Two, two men on, two away Snyder. here in the fourth.
The set and the 1 1. Up high, 2 and 1 now. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. The 2 1 pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. The 2 2. Fouled away. The set and the 2 2. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. National Leaguers strand a couple through four still tied nothing nothing Bob Gibson gets the call from the bullpen now, to pitch in relief number 45 Bob Gibson all ready to go in the top of the fifth and coming forward now is the shortstop Robin Young The 2 1. There's a fastball that misses. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Chopped toward the second baseman, right to him. And the fifth oh. inning will start with a ground out, one away. The batter. Striding in, Gary Carter Gary. He popped out in his first Carter. trip. Yeah, Matt Ian, looked like he got fooled a little bit. A little bit out front, ended up popping out. Expect him to be a little bit more leery of the breaking pitch this A.B. One ball and two strikes to count. Fouls this one off. No runs, just one hit. No errors thus far for the American League. And he popped him up. Here comes Yelich. He can't get to it. This one's down. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, Devo. You make two. a really good pitch, Alex. and yet this guy's so big Hard and so there. strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. In now, Alex Bregman can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Runner at first here, one man out. And it's fouled away. The next 3 2. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. The next 3 2. Fouled off.
the 3 2 one more time. Runners on first with one down. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. The batter, number seven, second baseman, Greg. Now at the plate, Craig Biggio. Here now the 2-2. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Working for the punch out and the offering. Fouled away. Hit back toward the mound. He'll go to the bag for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One hit, one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. And we still have no score. Your Roy Oswald please. is on and he'll take now over on the mound in relief. Number 44, Roy Oswald. Digging in, Albert Pujols. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a the glove on it. Hard Number single up the ball. middle. Yeah, watch your lips yeah. right there, Dan. Sent it back Stop right where it came from. So now to the plate, Miguel Cabrera, and he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Stepping in now, Johnny Bench. At the ball. Down low, two balls and a strike. <laughs> Chopper, foul. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Another 2-2 offering. High and deep to left center field. Mantle's on the move to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The now back to the top one. of the lineup, stepping Good in. Job. Ozzie Smith, Ozzie. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Yeah. Oswalt ready, the 1-1. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. The one two. two, two yeah. Popped up. In there, a base hit. 
Boy, not the prettiest of swings, Dero. That looked a little bit from now the back. Vladimir Second Guerrero book, but nonetheless, he Jackie. got the job done. Yeah, a little choking Robin both there. right there. He flipped the bat out there and was able to find a little empty green grass. Not pretty, but he'll take it. At the plate now, Jackie Robinson down the left field line and deep. And no one will track it down. One and two. Here it is. Check swing grounder to the right side. He's got to hurry. And the off-balance throw will be too late. So a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. The left fielder, number You know what we call that? We call that clean living. To get a knock on a check swing does not happen often. This guy obviously had some good karma coming his way. Standing in now, Luis Gonzalez. Slap hard the opposite way. And this is down for extra bases. And with two outs, this might get them all home. And the score is the runner from first. It's a 3-0 game. Bases loaded, and he was the looking to Number drive them 15. all in. The second Jessica he stepped David into here. the box, puts no. a big swing on this thing, and the ball just oh, gets no. down to the wall, allowing everyone to come around and score. He'll take a three-run double every day of the week. Whitey Ford, a little five-cent southpaw, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 16, Whitey Ford. Into the box, George Foster. Sharp ground ball to third. Throw on to Fox, gets him to retire the side. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. National Leaguers out in front, three to nothing. <laughs> 